Trouble's growing for GMO peddlers. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with another look at some of the ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories. This is episode 59 of Good News Next Week. I was going to tape it outside, but it is a chilly 43 degrees. That's 6 degrees for my international friends. And this is Good News Next Week for the week of December 11th. And we begin with a tweet from our friend Clint Torres. Judge hands back $92,000 taken from musician by cops after he failed to buckle his seatbelt. Another terrible story of civil asset forfeiture, which you've heard us talk a lot about on New World Next Week. That's basically where the cops steal your belongings because it might have something to do with the crime. Except in this case, this guy hadn't committed any crime. His only crime was not having his seatbelt on. But when the cops found $92,000 in the car with him, which he had because he was driving cross-country, moving to Madison, Wisconsin, where he was going to buy a recording studio where Smashing Pumpkins and Nirvana had played and recorded songs before, he was driving through Wyoming and got busted. Got all his money taken. Fortunately, 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 a Wyoming judge ordered the state Friday to return nearly $92,000 seized from a musician during a traffic stop that resulted in no criminal charges or even an arrest. And this is one of these stories that f think about all the bad ones that we're probably not hearing about. But the more people kind of get the word out and learn about civil asset forfeiture, and probably the more it happens to innocent people in your own family, that's really what's going to hopefully continue to push the tide against legalized theft from the cops. That's what we basically called it back on that New World Next Week episode. I'll include that down in the show notes, just like we include links to everything that we say and play in every Media Monarchy episode. Our second story and cover story this week comes via The Old Republic on Twitter, how Monsanto's GM cotton sowed trouble in Africa. They basically say that in 2000, farmers in Burkina Faso were having trouble and Monsanto had the cure. So they basically started to buy what was called Bolgard II. They started growing it in 2008, but by 2015, that's a whole seven big years, farmers in Burkina Faso threw it out because it ain't working and the quality ain't no good. Genetically modified cotton. It's not good today. It's not good tomorrow. One of the farmers is quoted in this story, which is pretty much a giant investigative report from the rumored to be Rothschild's controlled Reuters news agency. So again, when you see all these different elements, all these different kind of powers that shouldn't be going after each other. I think in some ways that's going to be good news for us. Our third and final story this week comes via our buddy Eric Moshe, and he is easily one of the biggest hashtag good news next week tweeters, and we get a ton of news from him and a huge thanks to him. Woman fired for refusing to be fingerprinted wins her battle for unemployment compensation. An evangelical Christian woman in Pennsylvania got fired for refusing to submit to her fingerprinting she said it was going to be the mark of the devil. Another judge has decided that she can't be denied unemployment con compensation. The decision overturns an original finding by the Unemployment Compensation Board of Review. And the even better news of this is that Frankie's upstaging this story in the background. She contended in her appeal to the state court that the subsequent denial of jobless aid violated her right to freedom of religion. Yes, we got to fight against the beast system any which way we can. And as long as we're talking about the beast system here in closing on this episode of Good News Next Week, one other Good News Next Week note, and it was something we talked about recently on, I don't remember if it was on the Cyberspace War Tuesday edition of Your Morning Monarchy or if it was on the very weird Holy Hexes Thursday edition, but we basically talked about how Facebook is rolling out these artificially intelligent algorithms and bots to detect suicidal posts before even other people say, oh gosh, Bob's in trouble, I'm going to report this post, he needs to get looked after. They've unleashed the robots to make sure that you're going to be okay, because, of course, totally normal human being Mark Zuckerberg totally cares about you. My question is, and we know that Facebook has been busted in the past, running psychological operations on their users, and they are being used, See if they can depress the users by showing them nothing but terrible, bad, depressing news. And indeed, I, I believe it was success, a success. So my question to this, let's flip it around. If Facebook can run a test by showing you nothing but horrific news, maybe they could reverse that research psyop and show people good news next week. And that is your good news next week, episode 59. A little bit of housekeeping and... Uh, 
deprogramming notes here at the end. We publish each and every Media Monarchy episode. That's your morning monarchy. That's your pump up the volume. That's Monday through Friday, two shows a day. You get two hours of exclusive content each and every day, your morning monarchy, and your pump up the volume. So that's 10, 10 episodes right there in a week. Plus you've got New World next week, and plus you've got this good news next week. We publish everything to bitshoot.com slash media monarchy. That is the YouTube killer that our friends Ray and Apollo and others have helped create. And we are putting every episode of Media Monarchy up there uncut, uncensored. Here on YouTube, this is where you're watching it. We're only putting good news next week up on YouTube because it's probably about the only thing that they'll let us put on YouTube up at this point as everything is pretty much getting squashed down by all those aforementioned AI algorithms and robots. So, only good news next week going here on YouTube, and I know people are still having troubles, as I'm still having troubles, with our podcast function. And it may come down to, I know, Frankie, it's driving me crazy too, <laughs> it may come down to it's old gear creating old files that new systems and new pipes don't want to see. So we are continuing to work our way through that, and if it comes down to it, we will essentially buy a new machine over Christmas, set up a new URL, new website if we have to, and we'll just build a new Media Monarchy house. So, love to hear from you in case you are still having feed issues. And like I said, mostly it seems like people on new mobile Apple devices are having trouble getting the podcast. MediaMonarchy.com slash feed. I'd love it if you try it, try it out, try it on this device, that device, desktop, mobile, kick the tires. Need to figure out what works and what doesn't work so we can continue to make independent, non-commercial alternative media. We are 12 plus years of going strong. You've never seen an ad. You've never heard a crazy snake oil pitch. But we are independent and non-commercial, so we can only do it with your support. MediaMonarchy.com slash support. Of course, Patreon, that's a whole other sticky wicket, is of course they're manipulating their cut and the money there. We also take PayPal, we take Bitcoin, and a good old classic post office box. I was joking on the show this morning about some of our server woes. And we're just going to get to the point where we're just going to mimeograph newsletters from home, and I'll tape the shows and put them on a cassette tape. We'll, we'll go May Brussels on this if we have to, my friends. There you have it. Your Good News Next Week, episode 59 for the week of December 11th, 2017. And again, I also want to remind you that we are streaming live Monday through Friday. 9 to 5 Pacific Time, MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. News, music, memes, and so very much more. You know that weird guy that does New World Next Week? He has like a badass radio show and a radio station. We're going to keep building it with your help. I am James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com, your host, webmaster, DJ, and so very much more from the mighty MediaMonarchy.com kingdom. Again, thanking you so much for listening and supporting our work and reminding you, as always, like Jello Biafra of the Dead Kid, and he said, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.